everyone welcome to Baju's exam prep can you guys hear me and see me or not let me know in the chat box quickly let me meanwhile check on my device whether i am visible audible yep i can now see myself uh, in front of you can you guys see me let me know in the chat box let me see if anybody is present here somebody out there who has joined me here for a fantastic session on critical reasoning and english we are going to discuss i'm going to throw at you going to discuss fabulous questions are you ready for the challenge or not that is the whole question so if you can hear me say a quick hi and then i would start the challenge this is going to be a challenge i'll ask you some simple not so simple questions from critical reasoning and english if you're targeting CLAT 23 do not miss the session if you're watching me after the session is over watch me till the very end because some very good questions are on your way okay let me see who is present so who can i see i can see abhinav aditi sabhyata uh, avi pallav pallavi ayush nandini prachi kanishka akshay preeti okay there are two Preetis, I, I think, in the class. Ahana, uh, Vicky, Preeti Chauhan, Preeti Kashyap, two Preetis, I know that. All right. Good evening, everyone. Good evening and welcome to this session. Honestly speaking, as it gets uh, late into the night, uh, I generally think that you guys might be tired by after doing classes the entire day, studying and all. And the chances of you guys turning up for a challenge is low, but then I also know that you guys uh, are always ready to take up challenges correct so are you all ready for the questions should we begin it right away so you have to stick around the session is going to be long not very very long but probably slightly longer than our average regular session so stick around don't go anywhere if needed okay is it Sijan is there? Ahana is there? Hariyom? Okay, Hariyom has turned up. Anjali, Prachi, Harsh, if I miss your name, don't think. Otherwise, it's just that I may have missed it. Prachi, Prachi says hi, hi, Prachi, Sita, Harsh, Preeti, Gupta. We have three Preetis now. Priya, Prashansha, Vedu, Vishal, Mehul. Uh, who am I missing? Uh, I think I have missed some names. Okay, all right. So, in case you are, you are new to the channel, I hope you know you have to subscribe to participate in the chat. Okay. So, please make sure you press subscribe and uh, then you can chat. All right, everyone, let's begin. So, before I move on, uh, in case I miss your name, don't think I'm missing it deliberately. It's just that too many names, I might not take all the names. Okay. So, naam chhut jaye, mat sochna, jaan bujh ke kiya. Ho jata hai. Okay. Uh, before I move on, uh, let me tell you two things. I will not write on the screen for the simple reason that because of some weird reason, my PPT is sliding forward. I'm not doing that. And uh, second is, uh, uh, I hope you guys are taking mocks regularly. Uh, even if you have started your preparation last week, make sure you take mocks regularly. Okay. And of course, there's a good news. We are conducting an all India mock, mega mock actually. For CLAT 23 aspirants, September 23 to October 2, it would be open. Please make sure you take the mock. You would get a very, very real idea about where you stand, how far you have to go, how much work has to be put in. So, mock miss mat karna. You would get a very good idea about where you stand. You can also join our Telegram group. All these things, all the links would be in the description box. So, if you're watching me after the session is over, go to the description box and just join the link we are on social media so instagram link telegram link everything is there in the description okay so this mock has been created by our experts very clearly you would get to know your strength areas your weak areas identify your spots and then you can work we would also take strategy sessions we keep on taking strategy sessions so if you have please don't miss you don't have too much time left now we have about 12 weeks left for the exam. Okay. Alright. Now I think we can go move ahead. Uh, 
Kanishka C, how many mocks per week? Usually, by now, you should be taking at least one mock per week. October, two mocks, and towards the end, you can do one mock every second day, provided there are a lot of conditions. Okay, you analyze, you are good at it and you are not lagging in one or the two or, or two areas, etc, etc. But at least take one mock per week right away. All right, Belinda, I just told you, right, two mocks per week. It's a good frequency if you are a, a, a student who is already performing well. If you're not performing well, you rather focus on weak areas. That's the common sensical approach, correct? All right, Subham, you would get that, don't worry. All right, everyone, let's begin. Now, let me remind you again, I am not writing, I will not write anything on the PPT. I will use my magic wand to show you the answer, etc. Uh, my suggestion is do read the questions carefully. And I am looking at 70 plus percent accuracy. So at the end of the session, at the end of the session, do let me know how much did you score. Okay, I don't know how many questions I'm going to throw at you. You count and tell me at the end. Okay, so keep a piece of paper ready. Just write. Okay, my first question was right. Second was not right. Third was right. Fourth was not right. Whatever. So a track rakhna apne performance ka. Okay. And if you are watching me after the session is over, please comment and let me know how many did you get right. There would be a part two also. Part two bhi karenge, but a part one thik se karoge to karenge. Okay. So part two ke liye, please make sure you attempt properly and you let me know in the comment box. I will read all the comments individually, personally and find out kaisa gaya okay it's a it's a very very easy uh, set of questions nothing very hard it will check english and cr both english and critical reasoning both so aap thoda dhyan se karna okay all right without wasting any more time we are starting straight away all right uh, i will avoid uh, the questions on mock etc right now i hope you understand hai na abhi nahi kar sakte all right everyone here is the first easy peasy question for you. Select the word which means same as the group of words given. Statement open to more than one interpretation is called. You have to quickly type your answer and send it to me. Jaldi jaldi. Okay. Statement open to more than one interpretation is known as. Let me see. Le I will take the name of the first person who gives me the correct answer. Okay. Preeti B, Sijan B, all right. Preeti Gupta, you got it. Absolutely, Preeti Gupta, you got it. The correct answer is ambiguous. Ambrosial is something which is very good in flavor. Ambrosia used to be the food of the gods. Ambrosial is something which is very yummy. Like, for me, it's like Chole Bhature. I don't know about you guys, but that's like ambrosial food for me. Usually, these are sweets actually. Ambiguous on the other hand means something which is very confusing, not clear at all. It can be interpreted in different manner. Ambidextrous is somebody who can use both hands or both legs equally well. Ambushed is somebody who gets attacked but secretly without the enemy coming into open. Very good, well done. So, agreed. Easy question, I told you. Bilkul laddu questions honge. Koi tension nahi hai, maza ne wala hai, sara. All right, everyone. That was the first question. All right, let's look at the second one. Select the word which means the same as the group of word given. A decision which cannot be taken back. A decision which cannot be taken back. It's like Amrish Puri in his films. Right, it's like Salman Khan. Ek bar commitment de di to de di. A decision which cannot be taken back. Irrevocable, infallible, irrational, indelible. So let me see. Who gives me the correct answer? Preeti Gupta again has sent the answer first. All right. And Preeti Gupta got it right again. Yes, guys, absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. The correct answer is A for Apple. The correct answer is A for Apple. Irrevocable basically means something which cannot be taken back. Ek bar jo commitment kar di, to murke nahi dekhta, something like that. Salman Khan. Irrevocable is something which cannot be revoked, something which cannot be taken back no matter what. Infallible is something which cannot fail, irrational you know is illogical, indelible is something which cannot be uh, wiped out, erased nahi kar sakte, something which can't be erased is indelible, right? You, they use indelible ink during elections, remember? That's indelible, very good. This batch is brilliant, this batch is doing very well and I think the questions are now shivering 
because they did not expect you guys to be so smart right so how do you feel about it kaisa lag raha hai please let me know in the chat box everyone maza aaya laddu questions you guys are rocking it and i think you guys are doing very well pallavi rai gunjan sisodia good evening everyone all right 70 people are watching if i don't have 70 likes then this session will not be able to move forward no kya kare majboori hai can i have some more likes please all right everyone let's go to the next question laddu question number 3 please read the instructions and tell me the correct answer quickly you have to find you have to it's a very simple question you have to read all the options 1 2 3 4 it's part of a paragraph but it's not in the right order you have to read the paragraph find out what the original paragraph is like and then tell me what can be the ending sentence so simple absolutely easy question it's a jumbled paragraph solve it find the ending sentence tell me the correct answer i'm pretty sure you are enjoying it no doubts about it let me know the correct answer everyone let me see who gives me the first correct answer हरिओम से ये ट्रेलर है पिक्चर अभी बाकी है हरिओम आई थिंक इग्नोज मी अ लिटल समर्थ से ए मीन्स वन ओके बी मीन्स टू दैट वेज और राइट एवरी वन रिया बी डेविल से सी आयुष ए चांदनी डी कुंजन ए हरिओम बी devil c ahana c anjani anjali c sangamit sangamitra has come after some after long time i guess or pragya has also come okay they are very very regular so i tend to remember them or i can see a lot of new names also i'm very happy you guys have come i of course i'm delighted all right everyone i'll tell you who gave me the first correct answer okay i can't take all the names but i will tell you who gave me the first correct answer this time the first correct answer i think came from riya verma okay because the correct answer is b for bombay okay the correct answer is b for bombay and riya gave the first correct answer why am i saying that look at it it says the periodic table one statement one says the periodic table orders periodic table is in getting introduced in the sentence do you see that introduction periodic table orders the elements in a way that helps to understand why atoms behave as they do and then it says what makes that is fourth what makes fluorine react violently with cesium while its nearest neighbor neon is reluctant to react with anything question mark then it says in other words in other words means whatever has been said earlier getting repeated in other words what gives the elements their properties and what order lies below the surface of their seemingly random nature question mark the properties of the elements are due to electronic configuration and their recurring pattern gives rise to period periodicity i hope you understood the paragraph it starts by talking about periodic table it then questions two questions back to back why do these elements react in a certain way and the answer is given in option 2 it says the properties of the elements are due to electronic configuration and therefore last line the ending line would be option number 2 is the paragraph clear everyone is the option clear did you understand why the answer is such the correct answer is b and i think riya got it right riya verma got the correct first correct answer of course all right everyone so how did you find the question let me know in the chat box if you are watching me after the session is over you can comment and know did you like the question did did give you a little bit of shock first two questions were i think on the lower side this one was slightly fun question right i am pretty sure you liked it and question also liked you back all right absolutely iram that's correct preeti gupta that's correct absolutely yes you guys understood it absolutely all right everyone let's go to the next one slightly different question but remember guys i will try to in the part 1 and part 2 i will try to bring you all kind of questions that can be expected okay in the next part i will bring more conventional questions but remember both parts are important don't miss any of the two 
okay you would be exposed to every kind of possible variations in cr and english so miss mat karna chhodna mat aur answer bhi bata do hai na all right i think there is a misprint here 5 6 has been printed twice over ignore it you can mark a or d any i mean if your answer is a or d then you can mark a or d any otherwise you can choose b or c whatever is your correct answer okay 5 c just ignore 5 6 i'm not writing because of the technical issue i am waiting for the answer okay harsh kohli yes of course if it's a rhetorical question it is possible aryom b sijan c c a c d a b c a b c d eh? is that what your answer is ignore d chandni ignore d a and d are same so you can ignore them okay it's very easy to eliminate i'm pretty sure you would agree yes or no read the pa this paragraph with me and le let's understand what the correct answer is it says although although starting with contrasting word although it is now academically respectable to analyze popular films the moment somebody starts a sentence with although however you can be sure the person would say something contrasting later yes or no however although se shuru hua to baad mein ulta bolega correct although it is now academically respectable to analyze popular films the fact that many critics feel compelled to rationalize their own dash action movies or mass market fiction it is academically respectable to analyze popular film the fact that many critics critics are the reviewers feel compelled compelled means forced to rationalize Rash, rationalize means justify their own dash action movies a critic probably is not supposed to like action movies but these guys do agar aap critic ho high funda you should not like action movies and all though. you should like some art movies and all right satyajit ray types movies and not some salman khan ajay uh, devgan action movie but it says they compelled to rationalize justify their own dash action movies means what their own desire to watch liking to watch their own preference to it something like that now look at the options unproductive action movies not appreciated action movies overstated action movies poshon for what is the meaning of poshon poshon means liking player for something knack for something predisposition for something tendency for something right or proclivity for something the author is talking about liking for something poshon for action movies reveals their continued dash the old hierarchy of popular and art films investment in investment in basically means they are addicted to accustomed to or they are habituated to and therefore the correct combination should be 4 and 6 and therefore the correct answer is c for calcutta now let me check who gave the first calcutta as in the answer i think the first correct answer came from uh, sijan sijan am i right just confirm okay then uh, tamil gaming and then avi tyagi also gave correct answers but if i'm wrong just let me know guys the correct answer is c if i took took your name incorrectly just don't get upset etc okay sijan i think gave the good first correct answer well done shubham says i applied the same logic well done shubham very good that's exactly what is expected all right select the word which means the same as the group of words given a state of mental weariness weariness is tiredness from lack of occupation kaam nahi hai khali hai berozgar khali baithe hai you have seen people watching reels for 2 hours right youtube videos for 5 hours i have seen people cycling in the morning with cell phone in their hands they are they lack probably occupation okay a state of mental tiredness from lack of occupation who gives me the first correct answer okay samarth samarth says c samarth says c 
बट हु गेव द फर्स्ट करेक्ट आंसर समर सेट सी अलेफिया सेट बी चांदनी बी अस्मिता सी द फर्स्ट करेक्ट आंसर केम फ्रॉम अलेफिया यूसुफ अली एब्सोलूटली द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑन वी ई एन एन यू आई ऑन वी बेसिकली मीन्स रिमेम्बर वी ऑल गो थ्रू ऑन वी ओके ऑन वी इज वी आर सो बोल्ड दैट वी बिकम टायर्ड ऑन वी इज बोर्डम बिकॉज ऑफ tiredness because of boredom you are so bored that you become tired i uh, let me know in the chat box everyone has it happened with you kabhi hua hai itne bore ho rahe ho ki thak gaye you are sitting in the afternoon you have nothing to do your phone is not with you there is no laptop no tv you are looking out the window and then you get tired because you are so bored that's called ennui has it happened with you any any time sooner soon here or lately it's very very impossible nowadays because of the cell phone but it used to happen with us for example when we were kids <laughs> iram says tired of life <laughs> not tired of life actually uh, trishti says rose hota hai trishti i think you need to focus more on clad preparation okay itna time kaise milta hai tumhe Priti becomes. Uh, uh, she feels ennui with the cell phone. Uh, Priti, you need to upgrade your cell phone. Uh, Shravani, during lockdown, yes, absolutely. Many times I get it daily. All right, this session will make sure you don't get bored at all. All right, everyone, can I have the answer to this very easy question? Select the most appropriate word to fill in the blank. Okay, very easy question. i think i can get the correct answer very very fast ahana says after exam so ahana clad to hai so i think will not get tired priti gupta is tired with phone okay iphone 14 is here i think you should ask for it your family will give you enough entertainment for next 3 months okay samarth chawla very well done samarth chawla priti gupta and tamil gaming JD got the first three correct answers. The correct answer is C. Well done, absolutely. Now let me tell you, this question is embarrassing itself. Yes or no? This question को थोड़ी शर्म आ रही है तुम लोगों के सामने आके कि हमने क्या कर दिया? Right? I I think this is a very easy question. For thousands of years, humans have been dashed the earth, making scars upon the land. Scars are basically damage sign, signs made from damage or चोट की निशान, के निशान. so very clearly scars means we are damaging the earth right right answer is c very well very well done all right everyone now let's try this question which of the following options is grammatically correct and meaningful now remember guys i know i know most of you are not doing grammar most of you are not touching grammar even by a barge pole correct aap gloves laga ke pehen ke bhi grammar nahi padhte aur wo cap to chamat se bhi nahi touch karte i know that right gray smoke you did please please do not mind if i take your name incorrectly or if i forget to take your name because there are too many messages okay sometimes in advertently i miss them okay so kabhi kabhi chhoot jata hai don't take it seriously so let me see who gives me the first correct answer pallavi b samarth d tamil gaming a gray smoke d all right Gunjan Sud B. I will wait for some more time. Ten, fifteen seconds. All right. Yep. Absolutely. So, who gave me the first correct answer? Let me tell you. The first correct answer came from Tamil Gaming J. Tamil Gaming J D. You have a name. Let me know your name also. Tamil Gaming J D got the first correct answer. The correct answer is A for apple. Now, remember, guys, you might not be doing grammar at all. but i have taken a session on the app recently five chapters you should do in grammar because you might be writing might write a let you might write msc et slat etc you need grammar even to become a good lawyer you need grammar right to thoda kar lo grammar dar bhi time hai for example if you look technically see even the first option is not a great option it is using not only but also traditionally after not only and after but also the words that come after not only and after but also they should be of similar type for example not only the best so after not only you have an article you have a have an adjective 
after but also if there is a verb here so even option a is not a very good option but the problem is other options are even worse i want to join a law college that is not only the best in the country but also i can get good job it is changing the way the entire sentence is written option c and d have got similar issues a is the most appropriate out of the choices though a is not a perfect choice okay but a is the most appropriate choice i have talked about this in that app session watch that if you have not watched it agar app hai nahi to download kar lo jaldi se free mein hai na download the app if you don't have it and uh, this is from conjunction chapter okay please make sure you go through these basic chapters very important the correct answer is a and let's move on now okay please read the instructions and tell me the correct answer everyone oh belinda that's you <laughs> you're using some somebody else's uh, uh what do you call that handle right i'm sure So now in the, again the same similar question you have five options this is a jumbled paragraph very simple you have to find the correct order and tell me which one would be the first line simple not very hard so let's see alpha is that your name alpha alpha says a pallavi says b i hope you understand a means 4 okay and b means 2 c means 3 okay accordingly answer so let me check alpha a pallavi b sijan i missed it oh too many answers now i can't even figure out who is saying what after i think i have missed it now a d sijan said a haryom said d okay all right but the first correct answer came from came from sabhyata singh sabhyata singh well done tommy kundu you also got it right prachi soni you also got it right absolutely you guys did it very well fantastic absolutely absolutely superb this was a very hard question relatively relatively okay why because it's a pap it's a jumbled paragraph right so if you want to do it fast you will get it wrong but if you think a little it's not that hard so as sochenge to itna mushkil nahi hai q look at statement number 3 statement number 3 it says scientifically the hyperspace theory goes by the names of kaluza klein theory and super gravity and then if you read the rest of the paragraph it is talking about this only number 1 number 2 look at option 1 it says but it's very unlikely that a paragraph will start with but i'm not saying it can't start i'm saying it's very unlikely option 2 says however little less likely it would start with however right however is a contrasting word kuch ulta aayega uske pehle however bol diya how do you start you can't start with however the second is probably not the correct answer option 4 says the usual three dimensions of space and one of time are now extended by six more spatial dimensions but we're talking about three dimension right but it is part of the entire theory you have to talk about the theory first right the so fourth can't start fifth says we caution that the theory of hyper hyperspace but the the theory has been introduced in statement 3 so which one will be beginning obviously c it's beginning the entire theory it's also telling you the name sign the name of kaluza klein theory and super gravity so relatively doable but yes it's still confusing and i have removed one option it would would have been much more difficult uh, if i had given you all the other options okay and i have made it slightly simpler also by changing a little bit but i hope you got the point so well done those of you who got it right all right iram that's correct time is always a big problem no time pressure is always the biggest trouble all right again a filled out question look before you leap reflects an attitude expressed in such a saying as 
idioms and phrases are going to be very important please make sure you guys study them okay whenever you get time mat chhodna idioms and phrases aate rehte hain kar lena very important so let's see who gives me the first correct answer okay i'm going to wait all right belinda a samarth a riya b gauri prakash a gauri prakash has also come after a long time sabeta c all right this one is pretty easy look before you leave basically means before you do something be careful be cautious look around check everything then do something correct a stitch in time saves nine means do your things on time so that later on bigger damage can be saved so b is not the same no risk no gain if option the main statement is talking about being being cautious being careful option c is not about that so out fools rush where the angels fear to trade basically means a foolish person always will do something that a smart person will avoid so d is also not the correct answer the only possible answer is a and belinda of course gave the first correct answer well done well done to all of you who got it right very good idioms remember idioms and proverbs are still important no matter how old they are they're still important go through them not they are not too many ho jayega aaram se kar lo thoda sa hai you can go through them on internet use books if you are our student then you can use the material we provide of course all right everyone select the most appropriate word to fill in the blank what is the correct answer let's see who gives me the first correct answer it this is another very doable question and gauri prakash says been attending your classes in my batch gauri okay no i'm talking about youtube i saw your name after some time after a gap right so let's see who gives me the first correct answer all right sonal definitely has given the first correct answer sonal upadhyay well done the correct answer is d for delhi appalling appalling is a negative word basically means shocking basically means talking in a negative way so please don't use it in a positive sense if you're going to meet your friend and if the friend looks good don't tell the friend oh i am shocked by your look i am appalled by your look you are look you looking very nice you may not get to meet your friend again okay so the correct answer is d tora verma is it clear prachi soni is it clear in our metro cities the contrast between the high rise buildings with the slums behind is talking not loudable at all loudable means something which deserves praise jiski tareef honi chahiye wo kaise ho sakta hai hai na appalling hai interesting comforting some of you have said comforting i don't know how comforting ka matlab kya hota pata hai comforting means something which makes you feel good right for example dal chawal for some of us could be comforting food right it's a food which makes you feel at home right typical food made by our mom etc are they are known as comforting food or comfort food rather so how can this contrast be comforting it's appalling shocking the correct answer is d for tell is it clear absolutely all right alpha uh, no sorry it's alpha or alpha i don't know is that your is that is that your name alpha no we have youtube sessions but they don't happen every day we would take let's say one per week two per week something like that so all the faculty members would come and take free sessions for you guys that's how it happens okay all right next one very easy peasy question let's see who gives me the first correct answer let me wait let me wait for the first correct answer see the good thing is the attendance has not fallen i expected some of you to vanish and not come back mujhe lag kuch bhag jaoge bologe raat ke 9 baj gaye sir ko ab kon khapayega but you guys have not given up which i appreciate for sure okay i really appreciate the fact that you guys have stayed back okay hari om a tamil gaming a riya c b all right tijan you are uh not reading questions properly huh nowadays all right so let me tell you who gave me the first correct answer abhi main batata hu just give me a second let me check oh oh 
I think I saw the, the person's name and then I then it vanished. Priya Mina. Priya Mina, is that correct? Is that a, the no Ashmita Singh and Priya Mina. You guys both have got the correct answer. Well done, Ashmita Singh and Priya Mina. Well done, guys. The correct answer is brutal. C. Let's read it. The venal polit politician. Venal basically means wicked, evil, shaitan, badmash. The venal politician was responsible for dash violence in the university. Now, brutal violence, we have no information in the sentence itself that the violence was brutal. But if the politician is wicked, then the politicians can, politician can be responsible for the violence. Or provoking the violence right provoking the violence or fanning the violence or inciting the violence whether the violence was brutal or not I don't know nothing is written there but inciting fanning and provoking all three can fit and therefore the correct answer is brutal because the question says select the most inappropriate word now reading instructions is something that most of you don't relish at all Aapko pasand nahi na instructions padna? Pata hai mujhe. But it may cost you a college sometimes. Yes or no? Do you understand that? But I just try, want you guys to be aware of it. Alright. Ria Verma, I, Ria, you gave the answer C before those guys if that is the case you also did a fantastic job tonal says why is is it written inappropriate in the instructions because you are supposed to find an inappropriate option sonal okay iram now see how lazy iram has become iram says i thought uh, that's what I thought. Inciting, provoking, all are same. But Iram, did you not check the option even when you realized it? Are you telling me you have become lazy? <laughs> Karina Vakil says I was first. Okay, Karina. Next time onwards, I'll be more vigilant. Chalo, bhai, jhatka lag gaya. Ab chalte hain aage. Bahut zaruri hota tum logo jaga ke rakhna. All right. Chalo. Select the set in which the last statement can be derived from the first two. Means, suppose you are checking A, B, F, you have to check can A and B give you F or not. Simple. Simple, right? Let's see who gives you the first correct answer. Alpha, Alpha, have you answered for this question or the previous one? Now there is a, there is some kind of peace. Everybody is solving the question, right? Good, very good. Shanti, Shanti. Preeti Gupta B, Shubham Raj C, Kareen, Karina C. Okay, okay. Very good, everybody. I, I don't know whether it was by mistake or by choice, but I think the first correct answer came from Alpha C, Alpha, and then I got it from who was the next person? I think it came from Karina after that. Okay. But I might be mistaken. There are too many names, guys. First, it came from Alpha. Then it came from Karina. Oh, no. It came from Shubham Raj. Then it came from Karina. Okay. The correct answer is C. B. Some cleaners are qualified. D. All cleaners are driver. So, cleaner, cleaner out. The answer would be some. And therefore, the answer would be some qualified are drivers. And some drivers are qualified. F statement says some drivers are qualified. So, if I use B and D. If you use basic Venn diagram also. From B and D you would get F and therefore C must be the correct set. It's basic Venn diagram. 
remember everyone if you're getting a basic venn diagram wrong you need to go back and cross check your basics for a basics karo basic venn diagram aap galat nahi kar sakte you can't get basic venn diagram wrong hai na this can be asked in every exam alet puchta hai slat mhct you might get them anywhere please make sure you go through the basics okay if you have not done please go okay well yes you you got it second yeah, absolutely all right try again same question i mean similar question the wordings are different let's see if you can get it right last statement can be derived from the first two let me check now who is going to give me the correct answer first preeti gupta d avi tyagi d and belinda a shubham d all right the first correct answer came from preeti gupta and then i got it from avi tyagi well done guys absolutely then shubham raj shubham you are doing fine very good very good i'm very happy absolutely the correct answer is d for delhi Mary is John's wife. Husband and wife's dance to the last number. Pay attention to D option. Husband and wife's dance to the last number. If you are husband and wife, you dance till the last. And Mary and John are husband and wife. So what can we conclude? That John danced with last with Mary. They kept on dancing till the very last. Correct. Very simple. A D will give you F. It's like this. Okay. मैरी एंड जॉन एंड हजबेंड एंड वाइफ जो भी हस्बैंड वाइफ था लास्ट तक डांस करते रहे तो क्या हुआ होगा जॉन ने लास्ट तक डांस किया होगा मैरी एंड जॉन हजबैंड वाइफ हजबैंड वाइफ केप्ट ऑन डांसिंग टिल द वेरी एंड वॉट कैन वी कंक्लूड दिस गाइज डांस टिल द वेरी एंड यू मे हैव सीन इन मैरिज इज नोन वेन एवरीबडी हैज लेफ्ट एंड देर आर टू थ्री पीपल ड्रंक द कीप ऑन डांसिंग इवन वेन द डी जे हैज स्टॉप प्लेइंग म्यूजिक द कीप ऑन डांसिंग ऑन द जनरेटर्स sound or noise so this is what the question is talking about such a couple get that the right answer is d and i'm pretty glad you got it right absolutely okay let's look at the next question basic question from basic grammar very basic let me see how many of you can get it right Yes, please. Let's see who gives me the first correct answer. Preeti Gupta is firing all cylinders today. Yeah, but Belinda has a little bit of bad luck today. uh priya no priti gupta well done you got it right i must tell you that absolutely correct very good after that karina got it karina you are also good very good keep it up keep it up karina is that your real uh, surname or is that like an official id types let me know alifia yes you got it shrasti you got it Sonal Upadhyay, yep. Nilu, Nilu is one name that I always get confused taking. I will not reveal why, but it happens with me. Vijayan Koshwami, yes, absolutely. The correct answer is first. Remember, guys, whenever you have a sentence where two subjects are getting joined by, as well as along with, with, accompanied by, but not, except, etc. Just imagine there is no second subject. Okay, the second subject ko bhul jao, and use the helping verb according to the first subject, as well as along with, with, accompanied by, uh, but, but not, and not, except. Jaan dikhta hai na? Just forget the second subject. 
2 is the helping verb according to the first one. What is the helping what is the helping verb for the first one? First subject is singular, so it should be was. Therefore, the first statement is correct. No change required. Belinda, is it clear? You got it wrong. Surprisingly. Now you can see between A and C, sentences are practically same except the comma. Commas are required here. Why? Because the second part is essentially additional information. Okay. So it is better. Remember, we always choose most appropriate option. So it is much better than the C option. A is much better than C and correct also. Therefore, we would go for. Is it clear, everyone? Grammar is very important. Free ka score hai. Thoda pad lo grammar. Belinda, yes, absolutely. All right. Very good. Well done. Next one. This one, I think, I expect a lot of you would get it right. You have to be, you have to try extra hard to get this question wrong. Sonal revised the concept today. That's very good, Sonal. That's the power of revision. Okay, keep on doing that all the time. Yes, please. You have to do something extra to get this question wrong. Ye to itna laddu hai. Matlab, mat pucho. Absolutely. The correct answer is B for Bombay. Either you or he. Whenever it is either you or we always go by the second subject. Right. So this second helping verb should be according to the second subject. Second subject is he and therefore the helping verb has to be has. It can't be have. Simple. So, bahut hai. Okay. All right, everyone. Harshita, is it clear? Vedika, is it clear? Shasti, is it clear? Shasti, go back and, and, and do some basic grammar. Bahut karbad hai. He has second subject. If it's an either or, neither nor case, you always go by the second subject. The helping verb is always according to the second subject. Yaha pe he hai na? It should be has, not have. Okay. All right, let's see what is the correct answer to the next question. There are plenty of good questions lined up. All right, everyone, let's see. Yes, please. What's the correct answer? Let's see. All right. Let me check. The first correct answer, I think, if I saw it correctly, too many names, okay? It came from Pragya. Okay, the correct answer is, of course, D for Delhi. Neither Altu nor Faltu. The helping verb would be according to Faltu. Has. Faltu is singular, no? Now, if you look at A, Altu and Faltu have not finished his work. There are two guys, right? I'm assuming. Obviously, you can't say his work. Altu and Faltu has. If there are two people, you can't say has. So, A and B are out. Neither Altu nor Faltu have. Now, we have to decide the helping verb according to the second subject. Very clearly. It has to be has. Therefore, the correct answer is D for Delhi. Is it clear, everybody, why the answer is D for Delhi? And more importantly, is it clear that you got to go and study some grammar, thoda grammar padlo? We have taken like a zillion classes. We have taken like a zillion classes. We have taken like a zillion classes. We Just watch the classes we have taken on grammar. They should be enough. Correct, everybody? All right. So, let me just quickly ask if you have liked the session so far and if you have not pressed the like button, what have you been waiting for? But bata dena waise, kiska wait kar rahe ho? And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon also so that we feel very glad and our bohat acha mehsoos ho aur hum aasman mood ne lag jayen. All right. Now comes a good one. Okay. Please take your time. 
please take your time and give me the right answer you have to find out what will come here okay very good question top class question please read it carefully main chup chap baitha hu aapko answer batana hai okay let's see how many of you get the answer right alefia did not see the options correctly no problem alefia next time onwards i'll try to read the options for you one by one okay and also during the actual paper i'll just come sit by your side and read all the options one by one okay don't worry at all i am going to wait for some time let's see who gives me the first correct answer all right answers have started coming ashmita says c i can see some of the students are getting tired is that correct maybe no guys if you are getting tired we will stop the session if you are tired ab himmat nahi hai to kya kar sakte hain na c b a d a b c d a b c d okay all right Belinda you have got it wrong by a mile okay please read your option again all right riya says no sir please continue of course i'll continue even if nobody watches i'll continue don't worry mere mein bahut josh hai pull on hai na all right so first let me tell you who got the first correct answer if i'm not wrong Preeti, you are firing all cylinders today, है ना? Preeti Gupta. Preeti got the first correct answer. Well done, very well done, Preeti. Now let me quickly tell you the correct answer and why. Have you guys noticed that in the second part of the argument, the author is talking about a hypothetical situation. The author says, "What if tomorrow some super intelligent being comes and starts conducting experiments on you? Then what will you do?" So now tell me reading this part is the person for experiments on animals or against it is the person going to say animal experiments are okay or animal experiments are not okay just tell me that first then you would understand the answer it's a very good question it has been this question has been designed by the super intelligent intelligent being from alpha centauri yes i hope you got it the author is against against experiments on animals belinda yes you did that and that is what the problem is that's why your answer went wrong the author is against the experiments on animal and that is why you just need to put option b in the middle because the author is actually answering it afterwards author says is the argument truly fair to animals because in the first part they are saying animal experiments are okay because that helps us defend ourselves from from diseases and all all those things then author says is the argument truly fair to animals what if tomorrow super intelligent beings come from alpha centauri and they do experiments on us then what will you do and that is why the correct answer is b for bombay is it clear everyone see how easy it is if you pay attention to all parts of the argument as i keep on saying in my classes and i have said this 11 million times in the last one week itself that if you get the author's main idea cr 25 out of 13 25 minutes in clat is possible and you have ignored that statement 11 million and one time i know that also yes or no all right If you got it right, well done. If you did not get it right, I hope you learned something. Alpha, I don't know about that. Okay, but enjoy the question. If you enjoyed the question, please let us know. If you're watching me after the session is over, please type in the comment box. We feel very happy when comments comments आते हैं तो दिल खुश हो जाता है. We become very happy. We start dancing and all. All right. Let's go to Panchayat Part One, Panchayat Part Two. 
and let's solve a question okay let me see who gives me the first correct answer some good questions are still there don't worry at all we are not going anywhere if there is a power cut guys don't worry at all my voice would be audible and i'll come back when the power comes back because there have been some power cuts lately what is the correct answer everyone what is the correct answer preeti says see preeti gupta riya verma b priya meena c okay priya priya belinda c preeti kashyap b Unal Upadhyay, I see. Okay, so I need to now tell you the correct answer. So again, Preeti Gupta, I have become tired of taking your name. You are doing fantastic. Yeah, absolutely, you got it right. The correct answer is C. Well done. Well done. Now remember, this is a very unique case. Why? Okay, first of all, if you have not studied logical consistency. then please do that chapter if you are a student regular student you will do it or you may have done it already if you have not then probably you just need to you know go through couple of uh, rules of logical consistency or conditionals now remember this is a specific case why because it's an it's a case of prohibition or limitation what is a the limitation there is only there is only one laptop correct so what are the cases just imagine if there is just one laptop and two people what are the cases one case person suppose let me take the names vikas and abhishek are there and only one laptop what are the cases abhishek takes it vikas does not take it right second vikas takes it abhishek does not take it third case both don't take it but is it possible that both take it that case is not possible So there are only three cases. One, Abhishek takes it, Vikas does not take it. Vikas takes it, Abhishek does not take it. Third case, both don't take. But the problem with the third case is, if Vikas does not take it, I'm not sure Abhishek takes it or not. Maybe he takes it, maybe he does not take it. Similarly, if Abhishek does not take it, I'm not sure Vikas takes it or not. That means there are only two certain cases. Vikas takes it. abhishek does not abhishek takes it vikas does not because there is just one laptop correct now look at option c abhishek took the computer which means what vikas did not take the computer simple so if four happened three also happened but look at other options for example a vikas did not take the laptop then how are you sure vikas took maybe he did he also did not take the laptop he went to pradhan ji's house One three, Vikas took the laptop. That means Abhishek did not take the laptop. Three, oh, he's talking about the same guy. Out. Two one, Abhishek did not take the laptop. How do you know whether Vikas took it or not? Maybe he also did not take it. So I'm not sure about D also. The only possible answer is C. E. Is it clear, everybody? If you use common sense, you can solve it in like thirty seconds. Not hard at all. Gauri Prakash, is it clear? Alefia is the same word, computer, laptop. I think that could be a misprint. Also, don't worry about it. Karina, just ignore that. Yes. Okay. That is a misprint. Don't worry too much about these things. All right, everyone. Let's try again. Oh ho! Very easy question, and I think I will get one hundred percent correct answers in this case. your time starts now let me see first question answer in 5 seconds who gives me the first answer in the 5 seconds 1 2 3 yes got it no guesses for the person who gave me the first correct answer priti got it right priti sonal pragya all of you got it right c is the correct answer absolutely agnost uh, atheist is the person who does not believe in god theo in greek means god therefore theology is study of god study of religion 
theist is person who believes in God. A theist says there is no God. Agnostic is somebody who is doubtful. Pantheist believes in all the gods. Uh, every, pantheist believes that everything has God or every God is in everything. And polytheist believes in multiple gods. There are two different words. Polytheist believes in multiple gods. Okay. Pantheist basically believes in all gods. River is God. Mountain is God. God is everywhere. That's pantheist. Okay. Very good. Well done. Next one. To express your thoughts clearly in words. More questions are there. Good questions are there. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Aryan Bakshi. Hard to answer. Okay. But at least one per subject area would be a good idea. Preeti Gupta says D. Very good. Very good. Are we looking at the same question? Because the first correct answer I saw was for from Belinda. Am I right Belinda? Did you give the first correct answer? I think so. I think so. The correct answer is of course articulate. When you express your thoughts clearly in words, you are an articulate person. Obama, for example, Adal Bihari Vajpayee, they were articulate people. They spoke so well. They could express themselves so well, right? That's called articulate. Equivocate is a negative word. Equivocate basically means to lie, to speak in a confusing manner, to speak in an ambiguous manner, to say yes and no at the same time. Most of the politicians do that. That's a negative word. The correct answer is very clearly A for apple. Is it clear everyone? Belinda got the, this question right. Okay, next one please. Most appropriate synonym of the given word, despise, despise, is very simple, despise. Let me see who gives me the first correct answer. Aryan Bakshi, yes, absolutely. B, am I, uh, Iram, is that the first answer I got? I think so. Am I looking at the same question as you guys are? Yes, correct. All right, I missed the name. Please confirm who got the first uh, correct answer. Most appropriate synonym of the given word. Despise basically means to hate something. Simply hate, right? Pori Tinda. I simply can't stand them. That's despising something. Abhor. Abhor basically means to hate something. The correct answer is C, but I did not see who got the first correct answer. So please let me know, guys. If you got it right, do let me know your name, okay? Niranjan Raj, is it clear? The correct answer is C actually, not B. Niranjan uh, wrote it like three times. Preeti Gupta, you got it first? All right, well done, well done. Okay, let's try this one now. Let's see how many of you can get it right. Let, do not be in a hurry, okay? Take your time, but solve it properly. It's a CR question. Pura dhyan se karna, pyar se karna. Mushkil nahi hai, ho jayega. Use your brains properly. Dimaag ka pool istamal karna baal zaroori hai. Okay. Yes, please. Let's see. Niranjan Raj has got what? A writing, some emojis also. I don't know what they are. Aratrika Roy Chaudhary, have you answered this question so fast? Or the previous one? If you have, then you're, you're pretty fast. Ahana Datta Prashan Shai, have you answered this question? Uh, this expedition question? Okay. Absolutely. All right. 
very good very good well done guys absolutely the correct answer is c for calcutta all expeditions to antarctica are full and the great explorer ernest shackleton found an expedition partially booked one thing is for sure that expedition is not going to antarctica because if it were going to antarctica it would be full it is not full means what it is not going to antarctica the so correct answer is option c it's basically you can solve it using venn diagram you can also solve it using if p then q if it's an expedition to antarctica it is full an expedition is not full means what it is not going to antarctica correct answer is c for calcutta well done if you got it right truly very good pretty happy with the performance for sure idam says these are easy questions but we are making making uh, wrong, getting them wrong because of haste i know i know that's the whole problem with these questions no speed is the biggest problem right and that's the whole challenge i can increase the difficulty level of the questions but that won't be fun right and that won't really help you much you would be under stress but you would not be able to figure out whether you are good or bad at it right it's like giving someone uh, uh, einstein's theory of relativity now the person will never realize whether the person has brains or not because that's a different level altogether we have to match the level of the exam we are targeting right okay pretty good question please try solve and let me know Tommy, uh, okay, I think you answered the previous question. Yep. Iram Asrar has already answered. Ria has al also answered. Preeti Gupta has also answered. Pallavi. Now I'm pretty happy with your speed for sure. Okay, galtiya ho rahi hai, but speed kafi badiya hai, bahut maza hai. And let me also tell you, I'm really, really happy about the fact that practically nobody has uh, left the session. Despite the fact that it's 10 o'clock already, खाने का time हो रहा है but कोई गया नहीं है और हो सकता है खाते खाते देख रहे हो I don't know है ना मुझे भी भूख लग रही है so we'll wrap it up fast but don't worry but अगर थक जाओ तो बता देना okay if you get tired let me know but I'm very happy you guys got it right very good well done the correct answer is B you don't know justice you Lalit if it is true then you know justice you Lalit is definitely wrong है ना ये तो सच हो ही नहीं सकता it's definitely wrong that means first is a lie it's not a can be lie it is a lie and it is a lie re is written in only one option that is b must be the answer justice you lalit may know you yeah quite possible you don't know him but he you may he may know you you are a big 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 shot you are a rock star maybe he knows you you may be a tiktok star yes or no ho sakta hai lord lordship baith ke aapko reels dekh rahe ho quite possible Hypothetically speaking, nothing against him actually. Correct? Is it clear, everybody? समझ आई बात? If you could spot just one thing, no, you can get the right answer straight away, very fast. But I'm very happy most of you got it right. Absolutely. Okay. Preeti Gupta says, how many questions we are done with? I have no idea. मैं सवाल नहीं गिनता. बस सवाल थ्रो करता हूँ. अगला सवाल आपके सामने पांच लाख करोड़ रुपयों के लिए. All right, please ignore the previous comment. About पांच लाख करोड़ now solve the question. Munna Bhai is always accompanied by circuit. No matter where Munna Bhai goes, what is the correct answer, everyone? Iram says maybe I am CGI. Iram maybe you will become one day for sure. ए ए ए ए ए ए हैं इतना गलत कैसे हो सकते क्या हैव यू गाइस बिकम ओवर एक्स्ट्रा स्मार्ट ओवरनाइट और हैव यू बीन हैव यू गाइस बीन ड्रिंकिंग व्हाट आमंड ऑयल बाय द लीटर लीटर गैलन्स ऑफ इट 
not bad the correct answer is a and i couldn't even see who got the first correct answer so many answers came so fast that i couldn't even see let me check priti gupta gave the first correct answer i think so okay then idam all right after that very good well done the correct answer is the correct answer is a it's an if p then q case munna bhai is always accompanied by circuit basically means if there is munna bhai there is circuit and if there is no circuit there is no munna bhai so munna bhai was in the bar circuit was in the bar ac is definitely correct ad is not munna bhai was in the bar circuit was not in the bar how is that possible munna bhai hai circuit nahi hai kaise hoga ad is wrong da circuit was, was not in the bar then munna bhai also will not be in the bar but a means munna bhai was in the bar not happening not possible bd munna bhai was not in the bar munna bhai is not in the bar circuit may be in the bar no problem but if munna bhai is there circuit will be there circuit is not there munna bhai is not there if munna bhai is not there circuit may or may not be there that's okay circuit might have come there for a drink akela aa gaya wo chalega therefore the only correct answer is a for apple very well done aryom ava this is clear this is basic if p then q okay option bd is saying not p giving not q that's not correct if ke case mein not p se not q nahi aata aap wo galat kar rahe ho okay yes it can be db but that's not in the option alifia right circuit is not in the bar munna bhai is not in the bar that's correct but that's not in the option kya kare hai na all right all right here is the words scrumptious kaisa word hai yaar sun ke ajeeb lagta hai but if you pronounce this word no it's a little like something crunchy is in your mouth you know some crunchy you are biting into a crab or a fried prawn something like that scrumptious bol ke dekho scrumptious there is there is some kind of sound coming out of your mouth so let me see who gives me the first correct answer are kon de raha hai pehla correct answer oh i missed it iram d preeti d ashish sharma d you guys have become smart or what overnight kya baat very good yep you got it iram preeti ashi alifia haryom aradhya kya baat preeti riya inappropriate antonym means synonym no scrumptious basically means something delicious to bacha kya d is the correct answer very good abbas well done bahut badhiya awesome hi ho gaya ye to not bad at all okay agla sawal 6000 crore rupees ke liye so please solve it quickly and tell me which is the correct answer let's see who gives you the first correct answer before i miss it let me just check sijan tum so to nahi gaye have you fallen asleep you are answering very late maya kumari you too niranjan raj is trying hard niranjan very good iram asrar i don't know if i'm taking your name correctly alifia p e, iram a sabhyata c sonal d aryom c priti gupta c pragya a b hardik c priti kashyap c priti do teen char hain okay all right but so far i can see pragya jha and belinda have got the correct answers okay if i missed your name please let me know But I think only these two guys have got the correct answer so far. And then now I can see Nilu also. Nilu also got it. Well done, guys. The correct answer is definitely B for Bombay. Only conclusion two is correct. Not conclusion one. Not definitely both. So please revise your concepts. Go back. These questions are so frequent in CLAT exams like ALET, 
एम एच सी टी में तो इतना मुश्किल नहीं आएगा बट आ भी सकता है बट एग्जाम्स लाइक एल इट विल डेफिनेटली आर दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन हैव यू गाइज नोटिस दैट द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज द नेसेसरी कंडीशन ओनली इफ इट रेन्स इन जुलाई इट द क्रॉप्स ग्रो ओनली इफ इट रेन्स इन जुलाई क्रॉप्स ग्रो इट्स अ नेसेसरी कंडीशन मीन्स वॉट इफ इट डज नॉट रेन क्रॉप्स विल नॉट ग्रो बट इफ इट रेन्स विल इट डेफिनेटली ग्रो वी डोंट नो इट मे और मे नॉट ग्रो इट्स अ नेसेसरी कंडीशन इट्स कॉल्ड ओनली इफ ओनली इफ में पी से कुछ नहीं आता इन ओनली इफ इफ द कॉज इज प्रेजेंट इफेक्ट मे और मे नॉट फॉलो ओके प्लीज गो एंड चेक योर कॉन्सेप्ट क्रॉप्स आर ग्रोइंग सो इट इज इट इज जुलाई एंड इट इज रेनिंग इफ इट्स रेनिंग सपोज देर इज अ फ्लड देन द क्रॉप्स विल नॉट ग्रो रेन इज नेसेसरी विदाउट रेन इट विल नॉट ग्रो बट इफ रेन इज हैपनिंग विल इट ग्रो आई डोंट नो मे बी इट्स रेनिंग बट यू हैव नॉट पुट द सीड्स हाउ डू आई नो तो क्रॉप्स आर ग्रोइंग कांट से ऑप्शन कंक्लूजन वन इज रॉन्ग वेन वेन मीन्स इफ फर्टिलाइजर्स आर यूज क्रॉप्स ग्रो यू आर यूजिंग फर्टिलाइजर्स वॉट विल हैपन क्रॉप्स विल ग्रो सेकेंड इज डेफिनेटली ट्रू दे फॉर द करेक्ट आंसर इज टू प्रज्ञा बेलिंडा यू गाइज गॉट द फर्स्ट टू करेक्ट आंसर्स वेरी वेल डन यू रिमेंबर द कॉन्सेप्ट एट लीस्ट ओके थोड़ा झटका लगा होगा है ना भूख भी लग गई होगी थोड़ी सी थकावट ज्यादा हो रही होगी है ना आई नो दैट आई नो दैट ऑल राइट सोनल यू विल हैव टू डू द बेसिक्स फॉर दीज काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन रिमेंबर गाइज आई कैन टीच यू द बेसिक्स राइट नाउ आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड देन द क्लास विल गो टिल वन ओ क्लॉक है ना बट आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड इट Upasana, you can buy any basic book if you are not a regular student of ours. You can buy any basic book, but you can also join. Uh, if you are a student, then of course you are taught in the class, and then you can visit the notes and stuff like that. But if you are not a regular student, then you can buy any basic book from the market. Very easy things, not very hard. No, no rocket science. Download the Baidu's app also. Okay. First thing first. Absolutely, let's do question. Let's see how many of you can get it right. Let me see who gets it right. Sonal, you got it. Very good. You are a smart kid. ये वाले तो किए होंगे analogies, right? You must have done these questions before, है ना? I can still see fifty students watching right now. This is remarkable. ओके okay, इतना पकाया मैंने इतने हार्ड क्वेश्चंस दिए कोई गया नहीं और राइट नो प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट टाइम आई विल ब्रिंग यू सच हार्ड क्वेश्चंस यू विल रन अवे इन फर्स्ट टेन मिनट्स ओके ए ए बी बी डी डी बी बी ओके आई थिंक आई हैव अंडर एस्टिमेटेड योर कैलिबर वेट फॉर द नेक्स्ट पार्ट टू लाऊंगा यूल रन अवे इन फाइव मिनट्स ओके लेट मी सी हू गिव्स मी द फर्स्ट करेक्ट आंसर अरे कौन दे रहा है भाई बी एस यादव यू हैव टू डाउनलोड द ऐप यू वुड गेट नोटिफिकेशन देयर सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन यूल गेट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर ऑल आर क्लासेस ओके देर इज नो फिक्स क्लास कोई फिक्स क्लास नहीं है नोटिफिकेशन आ जाएंगे ठीक है अब मुझे जरा चेक कर दो किसने करेक्ट आंसर दिया हु गिव मी द फर्स्ट करेक्ट आंसर अरे नो बडी हैज गिवन मी एनी करेक्ट आंसर वॉट इज है You guys are tired or what? Eh? Nobody has given me the correct answer yet. क्या कर सो गए सब के सब फोन रख के बाजू में ओमकार पटनायक विल हैव टू टेक अ क्लास फॉर योर क्वेरी नो कैन डू इट हियर अरे पहला सवाल है जिसका आंसर किसी ने नहीं दिया अभी तक और राइट Now I have an answer because now you guys have understood the answer is not A, B, and D. So you are saying okay. Now the answer is C. The correct answer is C. Yes. Now let's find the the relation. Dart is a small pointed thing you throw. Have you done dart board? Have you played dart board? Spear is a big thing. You know, Neeraj Chopra throws it. He throws a javelin actually. It's for sports. But spear is a big dart, kind of, which you can use to kill, hunt, etc. So dart is small, spear is big. Dart is small, spear is big. Sword is big, 
knife is small not making sense correct window and doors are not even similar things right windows and doors are not same no so b option is out mole hill is basically a very small uh, mound on soil where ants etc stay mole hill basically ctvt ka ghosla hota hai and mountain is a big one same relation dart is a small spear mole hill is a small mountain gun you know what is a gun cannon what is the meaning of this cannon everybody c a n o n o n cannon preeti gupta says i said c first but preeti i didn't see that okay i didn't see that omkar patnaik says d has to be correct no d is not correct not at all cannon c a n o n cannon basically means a principle a principle siddhant tenet okay c a d l e n o n cannon means a big gun top don't get confused this is a cannon c a n o n this means a principle cannons of bible understood this is not the top wala cannon that is c a d l e n o n the links are also important therefore the correct answer is c for calcutta is it clear everybody niranjan says camera that's a camera company niranjan not camera is it clear therefore the answer is c this was the first question where i think most of you stumbled you know but don't worry everyone you guys told me the questions were very easy and you are super bored so next time i have to bring harder questions point noted hmm all right <laughs> ratchet says are you kidding 1000% nope all right everyone let's try the next one depredation is the word depredation not much time left guys you have to be fast okay i also think i have like you know taken most of the questions but still let's do it for 5 more minutes at least okay depredation everyone depredation what is the correct answer belinda a little hard to take up comprehension passages but i will try in the next part okay a little hard because of the length but i will try let's see pallavi rai says c a b c d a b d c and kuch bhi depredation basically means when you go out to loot people lootne jata hai na ghode pe baith ke that's called depredation depredation is when people go and do violence when they go and plunder pillage pillage is plunder dakati violence devastation what is the correct answer construction you have to find the most inappropriate replacement hai na ye neend kholne ki dawai thi the correct answer is a but i don't know who got the first correct answer okay satya pratap singh kafi dino ke baad swagat hai aapka kahan the so the first correct answer i do not know who gave but the correct answer is a for apple you understand everybody samajh aaya could you follow it absolutely the correct answer is a so read the instructions carefully don't fall asleep jag jagte raho questions dhyan se padhte raho here is the next question all right red chat says welcome to facebook okay very easy question now i think everybody is reading the instructions three times over preeti gupta says the answer is a iram says a a alifia a a tab to sahi hoga of course gaudi gaudi basically means you know have you seen badsha have you seen jazzy b these guys are gaudi flashy ostentatious show off have you seen marriages in delhi gaudi marriages flashy proper proseebazi therefore the correct answer is a absolutely you got it right 
well done absolutely iram says i read the instructions four times so before i move on i don't know how many questions are left or whether questions are left or not but let me tell you so far i definitely enjoyed the entire session if you thought the questions were good you enjoyed they were challenging let me know in the chat box if you're watching me after the session is over write it down in the comment box because your feedback is important that will make me prepare my next part part 2 accordingly bataoge nahi to pata nahi chalega you want harder questions you want a certain kind of question to make certain tarah ke questions karne hain i won't be able to teach you in the in these sessions but i will try to bring those questions okay to bataoge to mujhe bhi maza aayega i will prepare the session accordingly nahi bataoge to maza thoda kam ho jata hai hai na all right i have a question here let's try it out we have 5 minutes we'll stop after 5 minutes okay let's try for 5 more minutes all right niranjan raj clear ho gaya ranbir singh ranbir yeah ranbir singh is also pretty pretty ostentatious rachel thank you sonal that's very nice sonal says i'll attend all the upcoming marathon sonal tell your friends also priti gupta this this question is looks easy okay gauri prakash okay good and gauri uh, write it in the comment box also okay because i will forget the live chat session ke baad wahan bhi type kar dena okay c c c d c c c d c c c d coffee ban gaya ye to this is a very very smart question okay very smart question let me quickly tell you why the answer is so and then i'll tell you the correct answer in the european community countries there has been talk of an energy tax to raise funds the tax just pay attention to everybody the tax has been mooted that there has been a talk of a tax to raise funds to do something you want to raise tax tax bada do to raise funds to do what whatever comes here should be an action use your brains it's a logical question whatever comes here should be an action that you want to do right burdening the rich it's not an action it's not an objective you want to achieve you achieve karne wali baat thodi na burden the rich penalize you want to raise the fund to do what an action an activity something to raise the price no the correct answer is d you want to raise the funds so that you you can use the funds to search for alternative sources of energy very smart question you want to have an energy tax to raise funds to do what not to penalize people not to burden the rich but to search for alternative sources of energy the correct answer is d it's a very very smart question i hope you liked it yes or no and if you like the question then do like the session also in case you have not done it yet and you are thinking nahi nahi abhi nahi baad mein karenge agle saal isi time pe in the month of september all right do i have any more questions left let me see oh yes i have a question we will stop after this question this is the last question of the day everyone please try and answer it correctly you can also mark d if your answer is d भाई पता ही नहीं है क्या क्वेश्चन है कुछ समझ नहीं आया लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे एवरीवन प्लीज ट्राई एंड लेट मी नो योर आंसर इसके बाद वी विल हैव डिनर एंड देन वी विल गो टू स्लीप सो दैट आई कैन प्रिपेयर द नेक्स्ट राउंड एंड एज आई टोल्ड यू रेम गाइज एज आई टोल्ड यू आई एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम यू गाइज जस्ट टाइप इट इन द कॉमेंट बॉक्स ऑफ द वीडियो whatever type of questions you want me to work on and bring okay i take these things very seriously and you also do that whatever it is just type okay let's see c a d a d a e <laughs> now the good thing is a lot of you are honest some of you are saying kya question hai bhai ye kya this is pure vocab right simple vocab in fact black ox is an idiom black ox is an unlucky person paragon is the best example of something the master of something paragon hawai chappal nahi suna 
Sachin Tendulkar was the paragon of batting. Paragon is the doyen, exponent, my epitome of the field, best example of the field. Black Cox is an unlucky person. So Paragon is Black Cox? Not at all. No, nope. not at all. There is no connection. The correct answer is no. Nope. The correct answer is E. Is it clear, everybody? But I'm very happy that most of you said D, which is the right approach. Nahi aata, to nahi aata. Ab kya kar sakte bhai? Sab kuch thodi na aata, sab ko. Right? Now, before I let you go, guys, thank you so much for being with me till here. I did not expect most of you would last till now, but you have, which shows you have the commitment very clearly. Uh, we will bring such uh, sessions more and more. If you want some something else, if you have a specific requirement for the next session, type it in the chat box. Uh, sorry, type it in the chat box, comment box actually. Chat box will vanish. Uh, I will bring that up in the second part. If you like the session, please press the like button. We spend a lot of time preparing questions, looking for them, and you know, bring these questions to you guys. So we feel very happy when you do that. If you're new to the to the channel, please subscribe. And if you have not pressed the bell icon, then do that. I'll see you again. Thank you so much. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much for being with me here. Bye bye, everybody. Please take care. Keep on working very hard and rock it. Thank you, guys. Bye bye.